welcome. Feel free to hey. And now that we filled that out and we share that with the circle, now we have a circle of allies, which is what brings us to this tab. Um, first of all, this is the discussions tab. This is for you at any time to ask questions of each other. Everybody who signed up for this workshop, even if they couldn't participate live, this is all the people that already signed up. And that means that they're interested in filling out these questions, in learning about the project, in taking that next step forward with you. So you are surrounded, you're not alone. And that's where networking comes in next. Is okay, we've been inspired, we see it's possible, we take that first step, we're learning now what the heck we need to do. And now we need the support of our community. And Joshua, this is the community portion. You shared how many partners it took in the community to get in the black off the ground. So how important is networking and sharing what you are doing with others? Um, make sure they answer these questions, even if it's not tonight or right now. Why is this important? Why should we do all this? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I would say probably 60% of my job is um, networking. And that's, you know, attending calls like this, um, being in person, doing panels and so on. Um, and the reason that's so important is just because there's um, something that cannot be uh, duplicated when it comes to having a bond, right? Um, you can be a friend with someone digital, but when you have that networking opportunity like we're doing here, even in this virtual space, we're creating a memorable moment for all of us to be like, hey, man, I can... I know who I have to lean on. I know who I have to tap to, you know, in with if I need something done or need, you know, to, to need a thought partner even on an exercise. So I would definitely say that um, as I look at and think about just like what we've been able to accomplish this year because of the different networks and communities that um, we're a part of now, um, a lot of what we are doing here at In the Black would not be possible um, had we not just taking the time to, you know, join in on this call or um, send that email back and just, you know, and not, I think also what can be important is not to send that first email or second email sometimes with a mission in mind, but just taking that time of being like, hey, I really appreciate and respect, uh, you know, your time in this space or industry, you know, and would love, um, you know, this is where I'm coming from. Just like, you know, you want to actually build a relationship um, that people can you know know that they also can bank on and um you know a level of reliability that also comes with that so um i 10 out of 10 every time i'm like you know your network is what gets you places um and any in every shape or form be it a business owner be it um you know on your career path be it um you know finding a partner all of these different things in life can um, truly be impacted by your network and community. So um, I'm so happy to hear that everyone's gonna be filling those questions out um, because we're loving that and we were are really excited to learn, you know, the people who are truly interested in wanting to, you know, partner with us and um, be it through just like, you know, uh, advocacy and support or on further levels. So um, please fill them out and thank you so much. <laughs> well, and this is how we fill it out in um, a way that we know we can't always hop on that call. Like there is a limit to how many hours there are in the day. And yes. so it's leveraging the technology, right? To say, okay, as long as we all fill this out, in the next day or so, we'll send a reminder in another day saying, okay, we've got a bunch of them filled out. Now let's all go in and support each other and see how we can help. Can we partner? Can we find synergies? And you know, the fact that it's so specific, we all know why we're here. We all know we're working towards a similar goal. Um, that's what makes it so much easier because you can go on social and try to connect with people and it might take a month before somebody accepts you. Here, we're already allies. You're already in. I mean, this is like, you've just saved yourself a month of back and forth just trying to connect with someone. Um, and then on top of that, you're connecting with a really clear purpose. And that's what is so important. And one thing we wanted to show is that after you've answered your questions, you could copy this URL. And this is the clipboard. Um, that is your unique link with all your answers. So it's easy now that you filled all this out. See, there was a purpose to it and why we want you to do it is this link you can share on social media. Now you could go to your Facebook and your Twitter and your LinkedIn and you could say, hey, this is now what I'm doing. 
And I would like your help, which is actually one of the things in the questions. If you go all the way through, it's going to say to the community here, how they can support you. A lot of it's just asking Joshua, like, can you just share the importance of just sharing your story and asking for what you need or you don't have? Yeah, absolutely. Um, We've witnessed many a time, actually, when we have different pop-up events, um, some of our business owners get to meet at those and they become like kind of an unofficial networking space. And so often we watch business owners share contacts when it comes to like, oh, this is who I buy my shirts from. This is who I buy my, um, you know, get my embroidery done. Or like, you know, maybe you should talk to this tax person and all of these different things that come up. But it is in that, you know, time that they took kind of to just, you know, step outside of yourself and ask that question, um, you know, kind of like just because we don't know everything and nor are we designed to. And I think the most important lesson to learn as a business owner, especially, is that you're not required to know everything. The second you think you are is a key indicator that you or business is going to, um, you know, you may find roadblocks. I won't say fail because there are people out there, but you are not setting yourself up for success um, when you look at and you think, oh, only I need to know all this information. The more you can share, the more it hypes people up around you also. And from that hype, you get people who are like, hey man, I know this person who does X, Y, and Z. Let me introduce you to them. And that, that moment of just hearing that first person be like, let me introduce you to so and so, because you took that step of vulnerability, but confidence in your vision, in your project, in your business, um that can be the difference between you know an idea um unfilled out questions you know and an actual um starting place so that's it and we we pre-packaged this so you don't have to think about all these tips we're telling you (laughs) literally all you have to do is um take a moment reflect give an honest answer and i love that you said you don't have to know anything we don't know anything that's the beauty we all have different superpowers and this is free this is not we don't have to pay for a more expensive subscription to do this this is a free just be smart leverage this technology so we can input a smarter way to network a smarter way to connect and that's really how we're going to drive the change and and this is so simple it's so organic and community driven but we're combining that with technology because it is hard to get people together and we can't always be together. And why let that slow us down? We're using the technology to make it happen faster and that way we can all go further together and then the ripple effect is just, it's contagious. I love the way you said that. It's just, it picks up momentum. Everybody wants to to be a part of it. So you can be the, the igniter of this. And the way that you do that is I encourage you to fill out these very strategic questions because the answers are there to help you when you share your profile, attract those allies, attract that next sponsor, attract somebody who's like, hey, I know somebody. That's how it happens. But let's manufacture the serendipity using the technology. Cool. So that this is where why coming in here um, and filling them out is important. And of course, as you go through your game plan, you're gonna identify, hey, I don't have all the stuff I need. And that's okay. Uh, that's the whole part of being an entrepreneur is you're dealing with limited supply or resources, or <laughs> there's, you know, there's always something not enough. That's, that's the reality. But if we can tap into our networking, we can ask our network, you know, that is how we can open the doors by sometimes we think we need something maybe somebody else says hey you know what you really don't you could do this instead or you could do this first to get things going so asking for things is not always um you have to get that thing sometimes you're going to get unexpected knowledge unexpected insights unexpected new ways to still help you get to where you want to go so be open to the possibilities and that's why it starts with you sharing okay this is who i am this is what i want to do this is my goal in the next 30 days these are all very specific things people say okay i get it i know the context 
of who you are and what you're doing. And that way, whatever they offer that they could provide you with, some of the things may be just what they realize you might need. Some might be something you ask for specifically. So fill out these questions so that the networking can happen within the circle. We are all allies. We all have different superpowers. We've got people who are very strong in technology and business and entrepreneurship. We have have people who are artisans and who are creators. We have people who are just wanting to make a difference and they volunteer and they mentor. I mean, all of us, sometimes we're all those things too. It's not like those are separate people. Each one of us, you know, Joshua, do you have that experience where people don't realize, oh yeah, I'm this in the black, but I also Absolutely. Like, like, what are some of your other superpowers people may not even <laughs> Oh my gosh, as you said that, I laughed because um, I, you know, I'm here today as the manager here at In The Black. Um, last night I was DJing an event. Earlier that day I was, you know, doing an um, uh, interview for an article. So, um, you know, I, I wear a bunch of different hats. And so, um, but it, it's what makes this really interesting is that i even last night was um someone was like oh wow you're djing tonight what else do you and you know you you feel that immediate urge to be like oh well this is just what i do on the side or trying to like you know kind of uh diminish some of those qualities that you have but um even with something like djing where i was like you know if i'm being honest it had been almost five years really since i had been behind the um turntables but I need more opportunities to practice and to do it more and all of that. So in that same sentence, I was like, no, this is exactly what I do. And I make, you know, I produce music and I've been, you know, I have music on SoundCloud and Spotify and Apple Music and all of this. So we all, I love that you mentioned that, like we all wear these different hats and we apply them differently, um, be it our professional lives, our entrepreneurial lives and so on. Um, And while in the same sentence of saying, like, you don't have to know everything, as a you know part of being a business owner is that fact that you kind of already know a lot and it's what is leaning into you know you being able to um start that up um, those businesses up so identify those skills those superpowers there are so many more and hopefully now that we've um just been talking about this right hopefully now you'll catch yourself and be like oh yeah i do do this or tomorrow you'll realize i have another superpower i I, I can do this too, or, oh, I don't need to have my hair and makeup done. I'm actually pretty good. I can be like, you know, <laughs> but there are a lot of skill sets and um, we encourage that and, and embrace it. Um, don't diminish it. You know, those are all things that you can put towards what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And it, the other thing is we never know who we're talking to and what else they're doing or what else you may know them in one capacity and you may not yet realize but when you share your passion and something you're enthusiastic about you're going to discover and attract again like a magnet people to you because they also probably have a shared passion and that is what skillville is all about is if you share what it is you're working on or what you're doing and we, we figure it out together. You're not alone, so it's less scary. We, it's not academic, you know. <laughs> this is all together. It's hopefully very comfortable. Then, when you share that out, this is how Skillville helps you set yourself up so you can attract more aligned networks. And so, as we're talking about networking, I bet a bunch of you were thinking we're doing like speed dating networking where you go in and you talk and you spend all the time like, no, this is the, this is the future. This is leveraging technology to network smarter, to get us further and also not have to feel like we have to fit into one box when we're DJ or one box when I'm a CEO or one box when I'm a figure skater. We are all those things at the same time. And we want you to know that those are your superpowers. And the more you share who you are, your story, you are going to give permission to others to gravitate toward you and share theirs. And they will bring their superpowers because this is how you actually go way faster networking than the speed networking events, where it's very superficial. This is you're connecting with people because 
It's your purpose. It's what you're passionate about. It's where you want to go because all of us have a pur purpose or passion or a place we want to go. It's not where we are now. It's not necessarily who we are now. It's where we want to go and who we're going to be. And so that is what's so cool about, I think, what we're doing here differently with networking. And we appreciate all of you guys kind of experiencing this beta together because it's a whole different way of looking at networking. It's very, very clear about what I'm trying to do. And other people are being very clear. You're being honest, you're being open, you're being transparent. And it saves so much time. I, on my LinkedIn, if you see me, that's what it says on my headline, taking the BS out of connecting. <laughs> because we need to use our superpowers and our energy towards what it is we're really trying to accomplish. And here in this case, it's what we are gonna set out to accomplish in the next 30 days and fill out these questions so we could really pull that together as a community and a network. Um, what do you think of Josh on that? Does anything you want to add in? I know you've shared some really great examples and stories of this uh, networking superpower and how to leverage it for what it is you want to do or get to next. As I was listening to you talk, I just was starting to think back on um, the importance of being your truest self when you come into a business space, when you come into an opportunity, an entrepreneurial opportunity, because you only really get, you'll have a chance to kind of reinvent, but you only get that first opportunity to introduce yourself to someone. And so you truly, you know, kind of like being upfront about who you are and what skill sets you bring to the table. Um, I think it almost can be very reassuring to someone that you're planning to go into business with. And that can be something as small as being like, you know, hey, I'm Joshua, I have ADHD, this is how I operate, this is how I learn, this is how I work, you know? Or, hey, I'm a left-handed Northern Californian, so when the sun disappears, I get super sad and don't call on me to do anything, right? Whatever the story may be, or something more uplifting, of course, but these are things that are uniquely us. And when you share something on that level with someone, it creates an immediate sense of um, of closeness, of comfort. It's like um, the power of like having, like my name is Joshua, but I also introduce myself as Josh. Even in that, something as small as that, I haven't told you much else, but I've created like that environment of like closeness and informality and casualness that we can operate within. So um, I just encourage you to think on your path, your trajectory, um, and what makes you feel the most authentic version of yourself and how do you present that to the world in a way where you feel empowered and people are able to receive that um, and really value who you are. So um, yeah, I, yeah, this, that's one of the biggest things I've learned um, just in you know, being in this space. Um, it's just being your truest self, kind of like being transparent, you know, um, and trusting that like the right people are going to hear that and want to work with you. I, I love it. And then you've got, you got the, the right team, right? That's how you attract the A team, the dream team, whatever. Exactly. Um, it, it happens organically, but really it's not that magical when you just realize it starts with you. So if you present that, then that's the chain reaction that needs to happen. So with these questions, um, I know this is a very different way to network, but it's not only here to help you think through and develop a plan, which it is. Answering these questions is going to get you through to a plan. It's going to help you guide that recipe of what it is you're going to do. It's going to help you say, okay, out of all the ideas I came up with, which one does the highest ROI, like which one am I going to make the biggest impact with in the next 30 days so you could prioritize it. It's going to do all those things. But the real power is now that you want to do it. It's not just a plan or an idea in your head, but now you're going to tell and share it with the world. And being an entrepreneur, that is a big thing. So if you're nervous about doing that, do it with us. We're all doing it. That's why we're doing it together. Like you're not alone. <laughs> um, Absolutely. And that's totally normal. Like, right? It's a muscle. Until you work that muscle or uh, foreign language, until you practice it, you're going to feel a little scared the first time you try to do it. But we're all doing it. And so that's where discussions, 
you want tips you want to practice with each other to do it first this is a you know we've got a group of allies who are all here doing and sharing those things together and oops, sorry that's burning my dog <laughs> Why? We woke up. <laughs> this is why we have this safe zone. And inside this circle, it's a members only area you join. So just know like the only time you choose to share this out when you're ready, when you've answered everything, you can, if you're not sure about your answers, you can talk in the discussions privately, figure it out until you do feel comfortable to enter in your answers. Like do what's right for you. Just know we're all here and we will give our input, our support, our feedback along the way. And we get what you're talking about. You don't have to explain everything to us, right? Like we're all here, we all part of the workshop, we all understand. And only when you're then, okay, I've got my idea, I got my plan, you gotta do it. The workshop is not done until you truly share it and can tell the community as an entrepreneur, as an impact maker, as a leader in your community, as somebody who is following their passion, share it with the world. It sounds so cheesy, but it's true. It's the cheesiest but realest thing, unfortunately. Like it took this job for me to get over that hump of like, you know, what all of those really cheesy things that we you know say people say, they started in a truth and they started in like a reality. And it's like, we, even right now, you know, are our worst advocates and critics and the largest roadblock in our own lives. That's it. Um, so take the, you know, as, um, you know, Alexis is saying, like taking the time to, um, even I'm sitting here like digesting and thinking, I'm like, man, I know I need to do this myself. I need to go ahead and just like <laughs> sit down and establish like, wh what am I creatively? You know, like, what does that look like? Who does that? entail to and you know what is that supposed to feel like for me and this is like those type of exercises that we do and especially getting to have a kind of like cohort to work through that with yeah um it truly gives you um some backing and some you know some encouragement so well i'm gonna pass along a, a, a kind of a bonus gift here um which is of course my mission is to help a hundred entrepreneurs, everybody in this circle, reach your goals in the next 30 days, uh, tap into your abilities, who your passions are, how you could share that with others, how you can monetize it, whatever it might be. Um, so I've got some things I want to share with you guys and you can think on networking. You've got to finish the workshop first. Please finish the workshop first. That way all of us can know who you are. I mean, that's where the magic that you have to start the chain reaction. So listening to us, great. Doing it, rolling up the sleeves, answering the questions, being brave, just sharing that link of what it is you answered with others so that we can help, so that you can start attracting and, and making steps towards it. That's number one. But once you've done that, which hopefully you can just, now we're making you feel more comfortable to do it. Um, I am going to give you a bonus item. So let me go through here. And this is something that I want to share with you. Yeah, perfect. Okay, this is your 30 day journey on skill bill. And what this is, is a way one of the things that i wish i could go back in time and do as an entrepreneur and i think a lot of us feel this way is like be able to document what it was when we started like from the beginning joshua you guys have that great video of when the store was created before it was open it's pretty powerful to see that absolutely and and you can see first of all you give yourself credit for how far you've come so document right now from the start and we are making this easy for you to document so i've just added to our board the next 30 days and so what we are starting you on every week we're going to post a new thing and all you have to do is go through every day and follow along so i'm taking the thinking off for you the only reason you don't do this in 30 days is because you didn't log in or you didn't schedule it on your calendar or 
heaven forbid, if something did happen in your life, of course, come back to it. Like we all have start and stops. I'm, I'm not, no shame on any of that. Like life I get, but you can do this. And really all you have to do is schedule. When do you have your coffee? When do you have your tea? That's how I schedule it on my calendar before my day starts walking Bernie by in the black shop, <laughs> going to Starbucks and on the way back that five, 10 minute period. That's all you need to just think about this. And so I've got every day for the first week, you could revisit your aha moment. So think about reflection, what you're gonna do. The next day, it might be think about your customer. So we're asking you all these questions and there's a reason for it. So this is your thought of what you need to reflect on. And then when you go into your que the questions area, you're gonna see week one and two, I've created a time capsule waiting for you to upload your journey. Um, and it connects to those questions. So the aha moment video, you're walking on that talk or walking on that walk to the with your dog, you take your phone, record it. This, it doesn't have to be pretty. In fact, the more real as you're walking down the street and you're thinking like, Josh, you got your earbuds in, he's walking. It, guys, it's authentic. The world, they love that because it's like, oh my gosh, I get to see the making and the behind the scenes of it. So imagine this as your behind the scenes trailer. We're doing it as you're going through it and you just record a quick video, a minute, 30 seconds, just what your thought was. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Work that entrepreneurial muscle. Just put one step forward, one piece of content and you upload it. So you can actually upload your video right here. And whenever you upload a video, give it a second. You're going to see the little timer go around and you'll see the preview of that video kind of play a few seconds right here and then you'll submit. So that is how you upload. So I think most of us from our phones, we know how to take a video. We do it all the time for social. And then you know how to select a file and upload it. That's all you need to do. And when I send this form that shares what I'm working on or my, my story, my aha moment, whatever it was that I was doing that day, then that's going to be documented to that link. So it started as a link of sharing your idea to attract people. Now you can keep people up to date with what you're doing every week towards that goal. The more you share, the more your your family and friends will support you, the more they'll see, oh, she's serious about this. It's not just talk. Like she's actually doing, oh my gosh, now they're gonna see and support you on Facebook because they're gonna be like, I love your aha moment. I was there with you when you did that. Or I remember, you know, like all of a sudden that's gonna bond them to you like glue. And they're gonna be rooting for you and cheering. And Josh, you said it earlier, you become fans of the brands and this is how you become that brand you're you're driven yes it's you but it's you on your mission it's you on your purpose and and so this is how now every week all you have to do after you finish the workshop because <laughs> you have to network you have to do that first step but once you do we're going to go in here and just look for the next 30 days and every week i'm putting up the new every day what you think about on that five minute break that 10 minute break and then when you go in you answer your uploads so you could document that journey show put in the work think about it reflect on it you are going to love this a year from now, a month from now, and look back and say, oh my gosh, here's my story. So when I go to my profile, it's everything from when I first identified my superpowers to me now with my community reaching that hundred entrepreneurs that are now paid influencers or whatever your goal is or helping those students get enough funds to host their hackathon whatever it is you're going to have the whole journey from the moment you came up with it here together and we're going to support each other on that journey we're going to help you through on the days you don't feel like doing it you feel down like this is a safe space and circle this is here to share your story publicly to continue to attract allies but everything inside the circle the discussions are just for us 
It's other people doing the same thing. We're all in your shoes. We're all feeling this way. You are not alone on Spillville. And so we are providing some tools and some guidance to kind of allow us all to work through this together and stay on the same page. But that's our gift to you. And when you work through this and you get through that first 30 days and you hit that goal, um, of course, keep going. I mean, the thing about Scaleville is this is one of many circles that we're launching. We're so excited to be partnering with In the Black first as one of our very first demonstrations. You guys are first movers. You've always done things first. So this is your comfort zone to just dive in. But this will be expanding. And there's a lot of circles. I know I mentioned one earlier, becoming a skill influencer. This is when you want to start to get paid. But I'm telling you, everything that we're doing here in this workshop is going to get you there. And so take it one step, one day, one coffee at a time. Trust yourself. Be authentic follow josh's and in the blacks inspiration follow each other's inspiration cheer each other on support each other i mean this the hardest part is trying something new and doing something you haven't done before until we work those muscles you know it's just it's gonna get easier as we do it more and more every day um, I know I chatted too much, Josh, on that, but I wanted to give everybody the grand design, the reveal at the end of, you know, how this all pulls together. And now it's it's our gift. We're passing these gifts on, hopefully nuggets of whatever you're taking away from it. And we want to see what you do with it. Anything you want to add, Josh, on this? I mean, this is kind of the finale. <laughs> sure. Well, I think most importantly, thank you to everyone who's made it and who stuck around with us today. Um, to Alexis's point, um, truly what I've learned in this role is that, you know, the, the number one thing that takes you from being just a thought to a reality is yourself, you know? Um, it's those questions, those what ifs, those I'm not good enough, those other um, arguments and statements that we make internally um, you know, I, I don't know where to start. I don't even have X, Y, Z. I don't have the money. I don't have anything. But uh, to Alexis's point, like you have a phone, you have a computer uh, that you are connecting to this with right now. And that's the only tool you truly need this day and age. So, um, you know, I am committing to, you know, doing the 30 days with everyone. I want to, you know, really walk that walk because my goal is to be able to, you know, share that information and use it to not only impact my own career and future but also to be able to share that with our businesses and vendors and you know future vendors as well so um i really learned a lot thank you so much alexis just for you know letting us be a part of this um you know but also allowing us to share some of the insights that we've learned over time um and also for you know skillville for providing this opportunity and tool for us to use so thank you oh thank you so much i really appreciate everybody who's come i mean as we said all night, like it takes a huge group of people, talent, efforts, um, all of us to do this. But the cool thing is that we have it. It's here. We've had to build it. <laughs> um, this used to be a lot more painful doing it organically. It used to have to take a lot longer to network. You know, anybody who's gone down that path knows how long it takes to like build this kind of thing up. So we're excited to really give everybody a leg up and this is what i always wanted this is how i always felt supported was when i found a group of people who could help me get there who could support me and it is through all those doubts and it is through all those questions along the way and it is also to hold yourself accountable one last thing i just wanted to share because the numbers you know, they don't lie. Um, when it comes to collaboration and network, you know, you have to put yourself out there. You have to share uh, your expertise. But part of that sharing is it's also demonstrating to your community your commitment. So they take you seriously. They see you differently. They see you as a leader. They see you as somebody who's not just talk, but walking the walk. I like the way you said that. And, and that is a really important step to do and hopefully the consistency of this not that it, you have to be on you know skill though 24 7 in fact we don't want you on 24 7 we want you coming here every day with a purpose 
you're going to do it, you're going to be consistent, and it's going to pay off in those ripple effects that, you know, you can go back to your regular schedule, your regular job, whatever, that's totally doable. Because it's not about the time, it's about the quality, it's about the impact, it's about how you're repackaging your brand. It's about this new way of realizing the opportunities that you could unlock for yourself using these tools. And it's it's at our fingertips. I mean, this is such an exciting time, but it's also scary and new. And that and we really understand that and we're all in the same boat. So just as Josh said, we're gonna be doing this ourselves over the next 30 days. Um, we'll be sharing our real stories. I've even started documenting like a video. <laughs> a vlog <laughs> so you know be transparent be who you are because it's gonna help you it's gonna help others in the circle you just never know you know i think that's the power of um you know what really one of the positive things that came out of the pandemic was the power of us being able to connect as as humans we weren't able to connect physically but there's the emotional and the supportive and the human we're driven by passion we have so much we can share and we can give and that's free and and that is the energizer bunny that you need to push you to do it um just know you've got that supportive network it's really up to you now we're going to pass the baton over uh we'll give you as many resources and tips as we figure them out on the way we don't have all the answers we're just giving a template from neuro strategy studies that we've applied here and technology to make it easy for you. You don't have to code. You don't have to know anything. You just got to use your phone and upload it. We've taken all that out of the equation. Trust me, it looks pretty and simple. It is not. This is like the most complicated thing in the world. <laughs> um, but, that, you know, this is how we bring our superpowers, right? Like our superpowers at Skill Mill making this possible. We've all got these superpowers. We're going to be learning from each other along the way. So we're excited. We appreciate you guys joining us. I am very, 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 I feel lucky to have crossed paths with you guys in the real world so that we can create this virtual world we've kind of dreamed of. And um, we want to help you create the worlds that you're dreaming of too, because it's possible. Um, so that's that's how I want to leave, I think, the evening for us. And Josh, thanks so much for your team there and showing the amazing products and entrepreneurs. And um, we can't wait to do it again. This was our beta. So thank everyone for your patience as we we did our first big test run. Oh, thank you, Carol. <laughs> I appreciate your support. Yes. <laughs> and um, as we conclude at six o'clock, just whenever is good for you, maybe schedule it on your calendar. Find that time every day that you could set aside just for you. Um, it's really important so that you can get the most out of the workshop. This was not meant to listen. This was meant for you to do it. And this is meant to help you. And all we could do is take you to the water. You have to drink it. <laughs> um, and, and once we all get in and you've got your next 30 days, um, hopefully you follow along. Hopefully you make some really amazing connections here with other mission aligned, purpose driven entrepreneurs and innovators and out of the box people. I mean, I, I love the fact that I know there's so many incredible people who are already in the circle. So it excites me because I, I know some of these people. So please, you know, take advantage of this opportunity. Um, it's it's really an exercise for you, but it's, it's something that I think is an experience um, that will hopefully provide you so a takeaway in the next 30 days. So in 30 days, we're going to all have these time capsules and these stories and you know, it's it's something to look forward to. And we hope we've inspired you and made you feel comfortable that this isn't intimidating, that this is something you can do and a little excited about it. I know I am. How about you, Josh? <laughs> you know, I'm feeling the same way. It's so rare that you get off a call that you feel that you were informed on and there's no financial obligation to. It's literally just like... <laughs> <laughs> we just gave you the game of how the world works right now when it comes to being a small business owner it's like vulnerability plus 
you know, community, networking, and an, you know, and a legit, real version of your online self, you know? Yeah. Um, there you go. So I'm, like I said, I'm looking forward to chatting with you, a few of you guys in our circle and hope to see you on there. And, um, you know, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, everyone. It's so good to see you. We appreciate everybody tuning in from across the country. Um, yeah, the coast so country, cool. Really, which is super unexpected, but that's that's what's so cool about digital, you know? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>